hoping to fill that void. The worst of Hurricane Irene is over, but now comes the long road of cleaning up and getting things back to normal. The storm struck over the weekend, killing 20 people, knocking out power to millions and causing flooding and wind damage across the eastern seaboard. The National Guard has been called in to help with the cleanup efforts in parts of New York and North Carolina. Irene is already winding down, but one estimate says its path of destruction could cost up to $7 billion. As Doug Luzada reports from Washington this morning, the price tag is already raising some eyebrows in Washington. It's likely FEMA will have to ask Congress to help refill its coffers at a time when Congress is not in the mood to spend money. Okay. While the floodwaters still rage in Irene's wake, President Obama emerged from the White House to say there is still a long way to go. I do want to underscore that the impacts of this storm will be felt for some time, and the recovery effort will last for weeks or longer. Weeks for cleanup, weeks for rebuilding, and all of this coming at an enormous price to individuals, communities, and the federal government. And FEMA in particular is not exactly swimming in cash. We are working and very, very closely looking at the numbers for what it's going to take, depending upon the damages we get through Irene, uh, what it will take for the rest of this year, but also for the impacts of Irene on next year. And that means that Congress may have to replenish FEMA's bank account, just as another debate looms over federal spending and budget plans. It shouldn't be a bailout program endlessly and encourage people to make mistakes. And that's what we continuously do in the flood-prone areas. The congressman and presidential candidate Ron Paul has long been a critic of FEMA, and he may be something of an outlier on this. But in an era of austerity, pouring billions of federal dollars into a massive cleanup operation will not be easy. And this comes as FEMA is looking very closely at another tropical depression that's brewing out in the Atlantic. In Washington.